from Cairo is the BBC's political analyst, uh, Saeed Shatter. Just picking up on what John was saying there, no real sense of closure in Egypt. No, I think it's, uh, it's an open because like, the reaction of people is mixed, but the majority of the Egyptian like, they accept like, the, the sentence is a sort of justice because some people were expecting uh, Mubarak to be innocent. But I think before the uh, rerun of the presidential election will be unwise to happen that, to, to, for this to happen. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the, the judge himself, like uh, on the evidence he has, he uh, reached the, his verdict because there is not enough evidence. And all, based on the evidence he has, because there is no cooperation from some ministries, you know, especially the Minister of Interior, to give the evidence, and some like evidence were destroyed. So based on the evidence he has, this I think the uh, the verdict he believes is the right one. But it is a tension. It led people to feel like there is some justice, and the demonstration in Tahrir Square is only like tens of people there. Uh, so I think, well, I think was was a wise uh, verdict based on the evidence uh, the judge has. I mean, just looking at those tensions outside the court and, and on the streets of Cairo, one wonders, those people can't even turn to the presidential elections to get some sense that the country is moving on. There's a lot of political tensions around that now. Yeah, you know, the presidential election, uh, because the two candidates uh, to rerun the election is Mohamed Morsi from the Muslim Brotherhood and Ahmad Shafiq, who was uh, part, is the last the prime minister of Mubarak era, and was like considered as a remnant of the old regime. So both, you know, like uh, candidates are not uh, welcome by the majority of Egyptians. So there is many Egyptians I talk with, uh, they are not going to vote or they are going to spoil the voting card because they don't like uh, either of them. But, you know, I think the verdict today, I think, is the tension because like the expectation I said before will be innocent or be postponing, postponing the, uh, the verdict. So I think was, uh, you know, like uh, make, you know, the, uh, the rerun of the election will be a little bit less tense. Uh, and, you know, like I mean, the, not the majority of Egyptians is going to the rerun of the election because of like the opposition. They don't like either of them. Uh, so it will be minority going to the rerun of the election uh, because both of them are not considered as the revolution like uh, candidates. So, you know, with, with, with the presidential elections involving a former aide of, of, of Mubarak and now it seems an appeal as well over the sentencing of, of, of Hosni Mubarak, he continues to be a cloud over Egypt at the moment. Yeah, I know, I know, because, like, the appeal is, like, is a judiciary not a right. You know, the, everyone, like, was uh, sentenced to any, ver you know, like, any sentence, like, for uh, life in prison, he has the right to appeal, so they are going to appeal. Uh, so it's not clear, well, he will be cleared or not. Uh, the other thing, like, he's the aide of the minister, uh, former minister of interior, were acquitted, which is, like, surprising for many people because they were responsible for uh, the, the atrocities or what happened, you know, during the, the demonstration killing. Uh, and the re-election, you know, like, there is no clear for... I talk with many analysts, many, like, politicians, and, you know, the cops who supported... The majority of them support Shafi before. So all of them, they don't know exactly to whom they are going to vote. So it's, very, it's going to be very close. It's going to be a uh, minority. The majority of Egyptians is going to be, because this is the first election was like 46%, I think will be like about not more than 30% in the uh, re-election on 16th and 17th of June, uh, because the people don't believe exactly what's going to happen. And still, as you said, the cloud over Egypt, no one is clear about what's the future, because every day there is a surprising coming and unexpected thing happens. Uh, so we're going to wait and see, but the re-election will happen. One of the candidates will be the president, uh, but the reaction after that will be uh, the problem and will be like, we'll see the reaction of the people who's going to win uh, in the president and the balance of power between the parliament and the president uh, if Ahmad Shafi win or will be the Muslim Brotherhood winning the Mohammed Morsi, so it will be control of the Muslim Brotherhood for all aspects of life, political life in Egypt. Right. So it's confusion, yeah. uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna after 17th, when the election... Okay, Shade Shadda, many thanks. Uh, speaking there from Cairo, more analysis on Egypt later.